Hello 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 everyone. In this video we are going to learn how to pair our Xiaomi Mi Band 5 bracelet with our smartphone. The first thing I recommend before anything else is to charge the bracelet, take it out of the box, put it to charge until it is fully charged so that we do not have any problems with the linking. Once we have the bracelet ready we will have to download the application for the mobile. Currently there are two applications compatible with the Xiaomi Mi Band 5 which are Mi Fitness and Zep Life. As you can see the typical Mi Fit application no longer appears as currently what they have done has been replaced by Zep Life although the application is exactly the same so we will continue with the tradition and this time we will make the link with the Zep Life app. The first thing we have to do is to enter the application and as you will see we get the first screen. Here what we will have to do is to create an account to be able to enter the application. We can do it manually putting our data or also taking advantage of our data from any of these accounts that you see below. In this case I am going to do it for example with Google. I click on Google, I click on continue and as you can see I get my Google account, I click on it and as you can see right now I am logged in and I get directly to the main screen. At this moment it is possible that you get different pop-up windows. I don't get them because I have already allowed them previously but you will get a pop-up window for notifications, another pop-up window for Bluetooth and possibly another one to detect devices. You have to give all of them to allow because if you do not allow them there may always be some incompatibility either with notifications or with the use of the bracelet. Once we have already created the account and we are on the main page of the application we have to do directly linking the bracelet. To do this first of all I like to put directly on the bracelet and the language, in my case Spanish, you give it up and you give the little arrow and you will put link first, we leave it here, we have already selected the language, we return to the cell phone, we give the more up here. Select bracelet in this case, accept and as you can see it starts directly to search for the bracelet. We let it act and in a little while it will find it. As you can see it has already found, the bracelet has vibrated and if we go to the bracelet we put link the phone, we give OK to the bottom and as you see successfully linked and we see the main screen of the bracelet and here we also appear and the first data. In this case in the application we will give to allow when using the app, restore reminder, well no, I do not want to restore anything. Here is telling us the designs that we can use with the bracelet and functions, OK, all this, Try now and as you can see because in this case now what we will say is that we update the bracelet, so let's wait for the bar is filled and so we will practically have it. Once the will finishes updating resources may take a minute or two, do not worry, okay, nothing happens, just that you see that you see that the bracelet appears to update means that everything, everything continues well. After about, well a minute, two minutes or so of updating resources is now updating the firmware. So we wait a little longer. Well and as you can see once finished and updating resources and firmware update and we would have the bracelet fully linked and ready for use with the mobile application. As you can see the bracelet is already fully updated, we can use all its functions, and works completely without any problem, as well as in the application we can also use all the functions and see all the data that shows us the Mi Band 5. Well guys until here comes the video, I hope you have been useful. If so as always do not forget to leave me a like and subscribe to the channel and give the little bell to not miss anything, I for my part nothing more, as always a pleasure and until the next video.